In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some awesome programming projects that were made as a part of a coding competition that I host that we call a Timothon or a Code Gym. Now, all of the information on how you join this, how you get notified on when these events are going on is in my Discord server. So make sure you join that from the link in the description. And before I say anything else, I wanna give a massive thank you to my Discord staff team who pretty much organizes and runs all of these events as well as a bunch of other community related stuff, which again, you can find from the Discord server. Now, in this video specifically, I'm going to be showcasing the top five projects from this coding competition. I'm then going to be announcing the winning team, so first, second, and third place. And then I'm going to be giving away some additional prizes uh, that we'll talk about later on. Now, for this Code Jam, we had some awesome prizes. We're giving away $800, $400, and $200 USD to the first, second, and third place teams. And this is courtesy of Algo Expert, who has sponsored this Code Jam. You guys know I work with Algo Expert. In fact, I have my own kind of course with them called Programming Expert. You can check out all of their information from the link in the description. They were kind enough to uh, sponsor this code gem. And in case you're unaware, Algo Expert has some new products out. So they have Front End Expert, Machine Learning Expert, they have Systems Expert, and then of course the original Algo Expert, which prepares you for technical coding interviews, as well as all of those other products pretty much, but with some more specialization. So check them out. Massive thank you to them for sponsoring this. And they're going to be giving me some programming expert licenses to give away to you guys as kind of special prizes. I'll talk about who's going to win those and how that works in a minute. For now, though, let me dive into kind of the theme and just a bit of context, and then we'll get into all of the projects. And if I'm boring you, then you can skip forward. There should be some timestamps when I actually start kind of demoing the top five projects. All right, so I'm just on the Code Jam information page here. I'm going to give you a little bit of context. First thing to note, if you want to read any of this yourself, you can go to the website twtcodejam.net. I also want to give a massive thank you to everyone who participated here, as well as my Discord staff team for organizing this, doing all of the grading, which I'm going to talk about in a second, and generally just spending a bunch of time helping out the community. Really appreciate it, guys. Uh, I also want to note, if you did not get in the top five or the top 15 or anything like that, please don't be discouraged. Please submit again. I've I've seen many of you guys submit over multiple code jams and you just keep getting better and better and that's really the point of this yes the prizes are nice but i want to give you guys an opportunity to practice uh, and create some cool coding projects Regardless, though, the theme for this code jam was make every day a little less ordinary. And the way that the projects were graded is once people submitted them, they had approximately two weeks, by the way, to work on these projects. My Discord staff team went through and graded every single project out of 40. Now they use the following four pieces of criteria the theme, the functionality, the code, and the intuitiveness of the project to grade it. Then once all of the projects were graded, we were able to narrow it down to the top 15. Once we had the top 15, I sent the 15 projects to Nick White and Ben Awad, who are our two celebrity judges for this code jam. So big thank you to them. And we're going to hear from them in a few minutes. Actually, they also have great YouTube channels, which I'll leave in the description. Regardless, though, they then graded the projects that allowed us to narrow it down to the top five. And those top five is what I'm showing you here. Now, both Nick and Ben did select their favorite project and what they selected or the team that they selected is going to get a special prize outside of the prizes that I already mentioned. Uh, and with that said, we can dive into the projects. Apologize for the long intro. Just want to give you guys the full context here. Now we will look at the top five and then announce who the winning teams are. All right, so diving in here, I have project number one. I'm not showing these in any particular order, just going through the different uh, projects that are in the top five. So this project here is called Friend Court. Now, I believe that this is kind of like a Tinder knockoff with Discord. We're going to have a look at it in a second. Uh, but the contributors here are Soul Ninja and I am Saptarishi. Uh, apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. I probably am. Anyways, you get the point of that is who created this. So let's actually click in here to friend court. I already have it open. Uh, we can see we met on Discord, meet new folks with new niches every day at friend court. Okay, so let me log in with Discord. Once I do that, I'll be right back. All right, so I've just signed in here. Now I will note that I did use this previously. When I used it the first time, it did ask me to select my interests. So that's why it's not doing it here. But it looks like I can view different profiles here and swipe left and right. Uh, based on if I like the profile and if I want to make a friend or get a match or whatever. So I can see, can I click on him? No, okay, I can't click on him. Uh, but I have interests, we have the pronouns, we have uh, anything highlighted that we both like doing. So we both like gaming, we both love coding. Okay, great. Let's give a like on that. Uh, let's see if I can swipe left. Okay, and then it says go touch some grass. Uh, try reloading to fetch more profiles. If that doesn't work, come back after some time. I imagine just not many people have actually signed up for this website. Uh, so that's probably why we're not seeing it. 
and then I can go to matches here and if I had any matches I would see them but apparently I don't I guess you guys didn't want to uh, to match with me on this platform anyways that is fine uh, oh and if I come back okay there is actually more people so I had to refresh the feed so let's swipe and see if we get some matches okay matches uh, let's see no unfortunately we don't have any Okay, so it looks like that's it for friend cord. Uh, I'm not sure what else I could mess around with here. Seems like filter is blurred out for some reason. And then of course I can log out and I get brought back to the home page. Overall, great project here. Definitely fits the theme, make life a little less ordinary. Everything is very clean. It works. It's intuitive. Great job, guys. Let's move on to the next project. All right, so moving on here to another project. This one is called Proactive, although I've seen it called Proact as well, just from scrolling through the readme here. Uh, now, this is by Ben Robo. That's the team name as well as the participant, so just one person. And let's just click right into the app and start having a look here. So making life less ordinary, the one and only app you would ever need to stay motivated. Okay, let's just go through here. We have About. Okay, so it shows us who wrote this. Very nice. Uh, let's go to features. We have motivational quotes, mood melody, daily fitness. Very nice. Although this says uh, lorem ipsum. So I guess he didn't quite finish this paragraph here. That's fine. I won't penalize that too heavily as long as everything else works. Let's go to home. Get started. Okay, we're going to load in here. And let's see what we can do. Okay, so looks like we have motivational quotes on this page. Uh, looks like I can flip through them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I get some cool backgrounds. I can favorite them. Okay, so let's favorite that. Let's favorite another one. Uh, can I download this? Yeah, so I can click download or I can escape. Nice. It uh, looks like I can share. Oh, sorry, feature not available. Okay, that's fine. Try downloading and then share as picks. Uh, notification. Set how many quote reminders you'd like to get every day. That's cool. Okay, I can go through the different categories. I don't know who would want 80 quotes per day, but I'm not going to go through this. I trust that works. Okay, let's go back. Let's go here. Uh, let's go view reminders. Okay, no reminders. Let's go categories. Looks like categories doesn't do anything. Okay. And favorites. And then I can view the quotes that I've favorited and go in here. Nice. Okay, overall pretty good. Although uh, I'm not sure about the categories thing. I imagine he just forgot to link that page or something. Okay, let's go to the next section here. We have mood. We'll give this a second to load. Okay, medi. Uh, brilliant things happen in calm minds. Be calm, you're brilliant. Very nice, very motivational. Uh, let's click a mood here. Relax. Okay, come on. Mm, there you go. Okay, so it just takes a second to pop up. Uh, let me turn on my speakers here. I imagine this is going to play some music. And actually, will you guys be able to hear this? Let me just change this so that you guys can hear the music if it starts coming on. Okay, I think you guys should be able to hear this in my recording. Um, but music is playing that is relaxing. Very nice. Okay, let's try anxiety. Okay, let's give it a second. Okay, so the responsiveness is not the best here with these moods. I'm not sure if you can change them. Okay, sleep. Let's click it. And okay, so we get some, uh, some more sleep music. Very nice. All right, let's go here to daily fitness. Okay, fit bro is loading up. Uh, onboarding, okay, continue. Okay, great. Good day, Tim. You have no workouts. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here in this workout page. Damn, how did you get all this stuff? Did you pull this from some website or something? I'm curious. Uh, oh, I guess you could have just put in a bunch of names and pick some different... Uh, what do you call it? Images for them. Okay, let's let's click into one here. <laughs> There's a video showing me how to do this. Wow. Okay, this is impressive. You did a lot of stuff here. Can I pull this up? Yeah, I can. I get some information about how this works. Wow, this is uh, very well done. And we have different categories here. Uh, equipment required. And this just keeps going. Yeah, you must have pulled this from, from some website. Okay, achievements. We have achievements based on workouts that I've done. Okay, very nice. I have my profile. Okay, Tim, I guess I can just log out. I guess that's all I have here for, for profile, unless let's click here. There we go. Okay, profile name, tag name. Oh, no, that's adding a workout. Sorry, profile. Okay, the profile page, it looks like there's something behind here, but I guess maybe this is all for profile. Okay, that's fine. Let's just do something. Let's say test, test. Let's go. Okay, chest. Just insert some random numbers here just to make sure this works add workout and there we go okay it gets added to the page 
wow uh, i'm impressed i wasn't expecting you to have uh, so much stuff for each one of these categories very well done i think i covered most of this if i keep going it's gonna be very long uh let's move on to the next project all right so moving on here to project number three this one has a hilarious name zero to chad uh very nice very clever introduction this is zero to chad your all-in-one self-improvement app become the best version of yourself okay learn and share ideas manage and track habits show your achievement monitor your time usage on different websites okay this is by team coffee i've seen this team before thank you guys for participating again we have milan and in i'm not even gonna try i don't know how to pronounce that i apologize uh let's click in here though oh our chrome extension okay so chrome extension for monitoring and i guess that's what it is so let me install this chrome extension and try it out okay so actually i lied there is a chrome extension i will install that after but there's a main website the chrome extension seems to be kind of an add-on for that for tracking your time uh so let's log in for now though or let's take action Okay, username Tim. Let's just go with fake email, like Tim at gmail.com. If I could type here. Uh, okay, is it going to let me have a weak password here? Let's see. Sign up. Okay, very good. Uh, we can save that. Select the topics that interest you. Uh, let's go crypto, business, finance, fitness. Let's just select a few here. Programming, technology. Okay, next. Uh, select your habits. Okay um these are not all going to be accurate here i'm going to make myself look a lot better than i am but let's do this okay <laughs> let's go next uh training more than three habits at a time would be inefficient okay it's only letting me select a few or no it's just giving me a warning there that's fine okay next and wow okay this looks awesome so i have home explore habits my posts achievements web usage I have a quote of the day. You guys have made some really impressive stuff, especially considering this only takes you guys two weeks to do. Okay, track your habits. Uh, click on more. Okay, I have all the other habits here. Let's go to explore. You might like these collections. I guess these are like tweets or something that I can view. Let's click on this. No, oh, it almost is just like a little blog post or something they have here. Okay, that's cool. Uh, what else? C++ versus Rust comparison. Very nice. Recommended post. Don't code, code all day. Go touch some grass very nice thanks your mom uh warren buffett nice oh wow you guys have like a whole feed here of different posts okay let's go to my post let's make one post uh regular post test posts cool project okay tags uh self-improvement why not okay let's post that uh okay <laughs> it should be at least 50 characters long. Are you guys going to make me do this? Okay, I think that should be 50. Let's post. And there we go. Okay. Achievements, habit master, complete 60 day streak, web usage. Okay, so this is for the Chrome extension. So I can look at that in a second. Uh, but yeah, this looks really cool. Nice idea. Good project. Everything is very uh, sleek. Everything looks good. Although when I like this, I guess it's instantly moving up, which I don't quite like because I don't get the feedback on actually pressing the button. Other than that, though, really good job, guys. And looks like, of course, I can log out from here. OK, so let me try that Chrome extension, then I'll be right back. OK, so I installed the Chrome extension here. It was actually pretty easy to do. You can see that it's right here. Zero to Chad website time tracker. Uh, it doesn't allow me to really do anything from the extension, but it does actually now show me this graph here of minutes spent and on what website. Now, of course, I haven't been on long enough for it to give me really any information, but it did kind of show up that it was registering my time. Uh, and if I refresh here, let's see if it shows anything else. Okay, refresh one more time. Uh, no, it just says uh, minutes spent and it was showing GitHub there a second ago because I was on GitHub. Anyways, I'm going to trust this works. I'm not going to go through and actually test this over, you know, the span of a few hours. Regardless, though, really great project, guys. All of these have been super impressive so far. This is going to be a tough decision. Let's move on, though, to project number four. All right, so moving on to project number four. Now, this one, I believe, is called Uno Life, uh, and this is by Bunch of Cells, Fireplank, and Snowball. Now, I'm not familiar with Bunch of Cells, but I do know Fireplank and Snowball from the Discord server. These guys have been around for a very long time. Fireplank and I have actually played chess a few times on chess.com, uh, and yeah, he beat me pretty much every single time because he's like way better. <laughs> Anyways, uh, looks like this is made completely in Rust. I have a Rust tutorial series right now. They must have been watching that. Anyways, uh, let's have a quick look at this. Okay, so it looks like we actually need to run this from the desktop. Let me install it and we can have a look and see what Uno Life is all about. 
All right, so I've got it installed and opened up. It was actually super easy to do this, so thank you guys for that. Uh, looks like I have home, game settings, and about us. So let's go to about, uh, just give some information. Wow, you guys are 16 and 14. Okay, well, that's impressive already. Uh, you guys are coding your own apps here in, in the top five of this code jam. Uh, we have settings. Okay, so I can reset the high score. I can change from light or dark theme. This is light theme, okay. Actually, let's leave it on dark theme for everyone. Uh, let's go to games here. So tic-tac-toe, Wordle, Snake, 2048. I know how to play all of these, okay. Uh, let's click. Okay, uh, I guess we'll go here, okay, here, here, here. Okay, it's a draw, makes sense. I can change to man versus man, purple versus AI. I can reset, very nice. Let's try Wordle. Uh, I guess I just type something. Um, I actually never play this game. Let's just see though. Enter. Okay. Heard. Nice. None of those are in it. That's great. Uh, can we do something like W O R S T? <laughs> okay. This is going to be bad. I'm not going to play the entire game. Very nice though. I trust that works. Let's go to snake. Okay. I guess I can move with the arrow keys. This reminds me of the snake game I made uh, in, uh, in Python. Looks very similar, except the head of the snake doesn't have eyes like mine did. Okay, nice. So we can play snake. Let's see if I can kill myself. Okay, there we go. You lost. I hit the edge of the screen. Okay, let's do another game. Let's try 2048. Uh, how would I do this? Oh, I just have to hit down uh, or right or whatever on my keyboard. I wouldn't mind if they showed the controls here on, uh, on the screen. It would probably be a little bit easier, but that's all good. Okay, and then, yeah, we can play 2048. Nice. I'm not going to continue on with that uh 15 puzzle okay so we have 15 puzzle now i have no idea what this game is so it would be nice if there was some kind of instructions or something um or at least a little bit of info because again I, I just don't i don't even know what the goal is here uh maybe i'm trying to arrange it 1 to 15. i'm not going to go through because i could fully be doing the wrong thing but uh nice okay another game show meme <laughs> nice okay and it just shows me a meme that's funny. Okay, I'm not even going to read it all. Let's, let's go to another one here, though, and click show meme and see if it shows me another one. Yep, okay, I got another meme. Nice, guess you guys have multiple. Uh, sweet, click on the games tab. Okay, click on the settings tab. Check out, uh, uh, click on the about us tab. I think I went through everything here. I know I went quickly through the games, but you guys get the point. They're basic games. I trust those work. Uh, nice, awesome work here, guys. Great project. Pretty unique too. Use Rust. I didn't see anyone else use Rust, and he made a desktop application as opposed to a website. Uh, so definitely points for creativity. With that said, though, let's go on to project number five. All right, so moving on to project number five. Now this one is Random IQ. I uh, want to find the contributors here. I didn't see it on this page. Uh, contributors. Uh, looks like we just have M. Emerson, yeah, again, I don't know how you how you pronounce this. Uh, anyways, looks like just one person here. Okay, very good. Uh, let's go back to the main repository. Okay, let's go back. Uh, and no board days again. Okay, it's a website where people can get a random challenge, finish it, and then share the moment. Okay, so let's go to random IQ and let's see how this works. Okay, so it said I have to log in first, so let's log in. Nice. Okay. I got like a cool login form here. I'm curious what they're actually using for this because it looks pre-built, but let me sign in though. And then we'll be right back. All right. So I've just signed in here and it looks like it's just giving me some challenges and I can accept them or refresh. Uh, so let's just go through a few, create a cookbook with your favorite recipes, type cooking, price free participants one. Okay. Let's accept the challenge. Let's see what happens when we do that. Uh, okay. Challenge is added. Let's click on that. Let's see. And there we go. Okay, create a cookbook with your favorite recipes. And then I guess if I completed it, I could add a picture related to the challenge and tell us how it went and then finish. Uh, please vote this field went well. Okay. And is that going to work? Maybe I need to add an image too. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll get out of this for now. Okay, finish challenges. Randomize. Let's go back here. Let's do some filters. Let's make it education. Let's make it free. Let's refresh. Okay, learn Morse code. Okay, that's cool. That's a nice challenge. Let's accept that one. All right, looks like we're loading here. Okay, let's get another one. Study a foreign language. Okay, we can accept. Let's go to your challenges and let's see if they're all here. And nice, okay, we get them all showing up. And then I imagine once I finish them, I'd be able to have a look here at all of my finished challenges. Let's go to explore and I can see what others have done. Okay, so I can see what challenges people have completed. You can like them. 
Nice. Okay, this is cool. And yeah, the footer's at the bottom here. That makes sense. Sweet. Can I click into this? Oh, I can report that. Okay, nice. And we have the time. Uh, hold a video game tournament with some friends. Sweet. Okay, so I think that's it for this website. Simple but cool idea. Definitely does make life a little less ordinary. So 100% fits the theme. Very good job, guys. Again, a few cosmetic things I think would have been kind of simple and just cleaned up the website quite a bit. Other than that, though, very nice job. So that, I believe, was the fifth and final project. Now that we have gone through those, let me take a quick break, and then I'm going to announce to you the three winning projects, as well as some special prizes uh, based on some projects that our celebrity judge judges sorry, have selected. All right, so I just spent a minute here going through each of these projects again, making sure I didn't miss anything and that I went through all of the features that I kind of briefly looked at in the demo. Thank you to everyone for participating. These projects were super well done and this is a very difficult decision. Now I'm going to announce first, second and third place, but I wanna quickly give a word to our celebrity judges who both selected their favorite project and those projects are gonna be getting a prize. So let's now go over and talk to Ben and Nick. All right, so Ben, thanks for joining me, man. Thanks for being a celebrity judge. Uh, I just want to give you a chance to quickly introduce yourself in case anyone doesn't know you here. Hello, everyone. My name is Ben. You can find me on the internet on YouTube or TikTok. And uh, I like to do tech stuff as well. I used to do tutorials like Tim, but not so much anymore. Nice. Yeah, you're working on Void Pet right now, right? You're kind of online game. Yes. Um, believe it or not, I'm building a game right now called Void Pet incredibly waste of time but this time it turned out pretty well uh we'll see how it goes <laughs> yeah guys check it out it's pretty cool I've, I've seen it a few times and there's a bunch of work being done on it anyways the reason we have you here is because you are judging some projects for us so i actually gave you the top 15 projects to judge uh and you came up with what your favorite one was as well as gave them all scores so i just wanted to ask you here what was your favorite project and why because they're going to be getting a special prize here my favorite project was Uno Life that made the Rusty project because it was coded in Rust. Every single game, which I thought was quite impressive because I cannot code in Rust, <laughs> but I hear Rust is really cool. So when I saw they did in Rust, I was envious and I was like, they deserve an extra prize because they put the extra effort to code all the things in Rust when they could have just done it in Python. So that's why I liked it. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, there you go. So I believe it is Team Rusty Uno Life. You guys are going to be getting a special prize. I'll talk to you about that in a second. Ben, thanks so much for helping out and hopefully uh, we'll have you as a judge for the next one. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Tim. Hey, Nick. Thanks for joining us here and being a celebrity judge. Just want to give you a quick second to give yourself an introduction in case anyone here doesn't already know you. Hey, guys, I'm Nick White. I uh, also have a YouTube channel where I do tech coding content, some educational, some entertainment, and I've worked with Tim before as a algo expert employee yeah and we've also done a few collab videos on nick's channel and collab yeah and i think we have some other stuff regardless thank you nick for helping helping us with judging and i just have one simple question for you what was your favorite project out of the ones that you looked at and why uh i really liked friend cord by touch some grass bro just because it was the most um polished project tinder swiping is not exactly easy to implement and then they uh, hooked it up to discord which is pretty cool kind of a unique idea kind of a fun idea and um i don't know i just took more creativity i think than a lot of the other projects for sure i would definitely agree so thank you very much nick for helping out and being a celebrity judge that team is going to be getting a special prize because you selected them as your favorite project uh, and hopefully we can have you back for the next code jam thank you for having me all right, so big thank you here to Ben and Nick for selecting their favorite projects. If you worked on one of the projects that they selected, then you're gonna be winning a programming expert license key completely for free. Every member of the team is going to get one. All right, so now, without further ado, let's announce the top three. Again, very difficult decision, and we're gonna start with third place. So drum roll, please. Editors put in some suspenseful music or something. The third place team is zero to chat. So zero to Chad, third place. Let me just quickly find who wrote this again. Milan and name I cannot pronounce. Uh, Anis or something like that. Again, I apologize. Uh, this was your project. You created kind of the habit tracker. You had the uh, 
What was this? The Chrome extension, which I did verify was working afterwards. You had achievements, you had posts, you had kind of like a social network aspect to this. And I thought you guys did a really good job. This was an awesome project. And the only reason I'm actually placing this third as opposed to going higher was I just felt that the styling could have been done a little bit better. It didn't look quite as polished as some of the other projects. But again, I think you guys did a really awesome job. You had a great amount of features uh, and definitely fit the theme as well, making life a little less ordinary. So thank you guys for your submission. Congratulations on third place. I'll reach out to you on how you can claim your prize. So now we move on to second and first place. Now this was a very difficult decision. I'm not gonna make you wait any longer. The second place project was, dramatic pause please, Friend Court. Now Friend Court, this in my opinion was the most polished project. I thought it was one of the best ideas out of all of the ones that we had. Yes, it is kind of cloning and mirroring, uh, you know, something like uh, Tinder, but I just thought it was a creative idea and it's really easy to use. Everything seemed to work. Unfortunately, I didn't get any matches, but I'm not going to penalize you for that. And I just thought the styling was good. Everything was good. Generally, again, just no real negative feedback that I can give this project. So that's why I selected it for second place. Uh, and now once I announce first place, I will discuss discuss why I chose that over this for first place. So congratulations guys, I'm going to put up whoever made this on the screen and I'll reach out to you for your prizes, but now we need to discuss who won first. So the first place project here, as I'm sure many of you have already guessed, is ProAct. Now again, this was a really difficult decision. I was between Friend Court and ProAct for first and second, and the reason I went with ProAct here was just because I thought that this had a lot more features. There was a lot more to it than Friend Court, and this as well was very polished. Everything with the exception of that one paragraph uh, that I found that said Lorem Ipsum was, you know, pretty well done. There was just so many different workouts. We had three different modes inside of here. Yes, it was a little bit laggy on this screen, but I'm willing to forgive that just because of the sheer amount of content that was on this website. I just thought that when we're comparing the two, yes, one was more polished than the other, but this had so much stuff that I just thought it deserved the win. I'm sure you put a ton of work into this, uh, and really that's kind of why I selected it for first place. Again, I thought the idea was good, definitely does make life less ordinary, uh, and overall just a really good job on all these projects, making it very difficult for me to decide. So I'm going to put up who made this project on the screen. Congratulations to all of our winners, to who the celebrity judges selected, and really to everyone who submitted a project. I do these code jams so that you guys can have fun, so that I can have a cool video to post every few months and showcase some community projects. And if you guys like this idea of kind of showcasing what people in the community have made, we can do this more informally as well going forward, where I show just some cool community projects that weren't necessarily made uh, just for something like this, like a coding competition. So with that said, I am going to wrap up the video here. Again, congratulations to everyone. Thank you all for participating. Thank you to my Discord staff team. Thank you to Algo Expert for sponsoring this competition. And I have no more thank you, so I'll wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in another one.